all right? First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahusha, Bahashem Rakhabadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, hopefully they got that pushing his word and truth, and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahusha, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom unto the hopeful elect, the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bahashem Yahusha. And what I want to get into this morning, you know, we're dealing with how pretty much what we're seeing play out is that there's two, you know, realities, all right, <laughs> that people live in. Now, you have the truth, you know, is what we say is the truth. That's why we call it the truth because it's the truth about everything. You know, everything that's going on in the earth, the scriptures pretty much give us the truth behind the things that we're seeing, okay? It gives us the origin, okay, of things that we're seeing playing out, okay? This conflict between, you know, so-called black people, so-called white people, you know, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? It's so-called white people goes back to what? Jacob and Esau, birthright, a blessing, okay? It's not just some random, you know, hatred between two people no there's a spiritual origin to what we're seeing and they're just an example of one of many okay and i said all that to say this that these two realities you have a false reality you know which the masses you know believe in okay when it comes to what's going on in the world and within that false reality the people are asleep you know, people are really asleep, man. Even though they think they're woke, they're still in the slumber, okay, to everything that's going on real time. And this is why the house shy is going to be like a thief in the night. Because you have our people, that their minds don't go beyond, you know, this false reality of Esau Eden. And then you have the believers, the hopeful elect. And their mind is geared towards the return of Yahusha and the destruction of this place. So that's why the Apostle Paul, when you read 1 Thessalonians 1, and I jump down, it says, But of the times and of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. All right? And this is more so for us in this time because we know what it is. So Apostle Paul, all right, look, y'all, pretty much, y'all know what time it is, man. Okay, you, you know what it is. If you, if you have been in the scriptures, okay, the Holy Spirit is dealing with us to understand the spirit of Yahweh Shah, which is the spirit of prophecy, okay? When, when you really tapped in, you know what time it is, man. You know, <laughs> we know what time it is. <laughs> you see, and that was the Apostle Paul reiterating i'm gonna jump down verse five <clears throat> it says ye, ye ye are all the children of light and the children of the day we are not of the night nor of darkness and see children of the light going back to what we're all springs okay of this truth man okay because your house shot is that light your house shot makes us see everything for what it is man according to the scriptures okay we know no matter how many uh, times the media you know try to downplay world war three we know it gotta happen okay no matter how much the media try to make things as if they're normal we know chaos is coming okay we know these things we know, all right, Esau's Edom agenda. You know, he come with those smooth words, you know, through his media as if he's, you know, he's all about being this great humanitarian and, you know, health and, you know, convenience for the people. He's all about, you know, trying to make life easier for the people. Okay? We know this guy according to the scriptures. Okay? 
<laughs> we know his end game, what he's trying to do. Okay? Because why, man? We, or when we endure, we are children of the light, man. We're offspring of this truth, man. You know? Um, we read down, it says, Therefore, let us not sleep as the others, but let us watch and be sober. For they, verse 7 says, For they that sleep in the night, all right, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night, and they're drunken with what? A false reality. Okay? All these different narratives Esau has flowed throughout the earth, and, you know, our people are drunken with some type of false reality, man. They know, they might know, you know, they may make a good point about something here and there. Okay? But it's one of these false realities, one of these, uh, <laughs> religions or uh, 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 philosophies okay <laughs> of destruction that our people are into okay which causes them to be asleep while they're, while they're awake okay because their spiritual awareness is, is on zero of things that's really happening man alright and it says but let us who are of the day be sober Putting on the breastplate of faith, all right, and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. And that breastplate of faith, all right, that would, that, uh, an example that was shown, you know, when all these different mandates was going out. That breastplate of faith, all right, shielded us, <laughs> all right. Hey, from the arrows of the devil, man. Okay? Willing to put it all on the line for you how about Shema was shot through faith. It shielded us from poor decision making, man. Okay? Because faith is, faith is going to shield us from poor decision making in these times. We finna see a lot of people fold according to the scripture. All right, that hope of salvation. See, salvation is a narrative. Like, salvation is us believing that no matter what, Yahweh Shah is coming to conquer this earth in righteousness, man. No matter what happens with that individual situation, Yahweh Shah is coming to conquer the earth in righteousness and deliver his elect. And even those that die in Yahweh Shah will be raised up. <laughs> you see that? That's that hope of salvation is hanging on to that narrative, man. The Esau Edom, okay? And these heathens going to captivity, man. Under the elect of Israel, beginning with the elect of Israel, man. You know, under your house shot. Okay? That's the hope of salvation, that deliverance. That's why your house shot said, hold fast that with which thou hast till I come. And that's holding fast, all right, to that hope of salvation, man. That narrative that, hey, there's a deliverance at the end of this, man. Okay, even in death, all right, there's a deliverance. You see? So that's why, when Yahweh Shah said this, uh, when the angel told John, uh, the revelator, all right, on the island of Patmos, that what? Yahweh shot the spirit of prophecy because prophecy is what's finna make major change in the earth. Remember, Yahweh Shah is the king of kings. He's not concerned with these little minuscule things that go on in the earth. All right, as a king, you you you're concerned about things that benefit your kingdom, your empire, your dynasty. Okay, and prophecy benefits the dynasty, okay, of the house of David. Okay, so that's why the, his spirit, the spirit of Yahweh Shah is geared towards prophecy because that's, that <laughs> is the thing that matters, man. Everything else is minuscule. Okay, you think Yahweh Shah give a damn about Will Smith so called slapping Chris Rock? 
okay? You think you care about uh, 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 look, look Dirt, Young Dirt versus uh, uh, NBA Young Boy? No, man. This no thing don't even come on his radar. He's he's concerned about prophecy, the things that affect the the, the righteous kingdom that he's coming to set up. Okay, and that's a whole world within itself. All right, that's a whole realm within itself. Okay, so you how about Shema Al Shai? All right. It has has people on the a delusion in the sleep, and it has those that are up, children of the light, that see and know exactly what it is, man. All right, and that's according to the scriptures, according to the, the spirit, you know. So, Lord, will you brothers, you know, if you sisters were edified, just want to bring that out real quick. Till next time, I say, y'all warm, call me, y'all, a Bible ball, DTA soon.